Dan, Dan, the security man. Dan, security man. Dan Dan the security man. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may now be seated. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Adam. And I'm Adam. Attention seniors, your yearbook pictures have to be submitted to grads by September 30th. You have to go to grads if you want your picture in the yearbook and on the screen at graduation. Their number is 623-566-1082 if you have any questions regarding your picture. Mandatory fall senior talks will begin on September 28th. A new talk will start at the beginning of each hour except the fifth hour. If you do not have a government or economics class, check with your teachers to agree on the best time for you to attend. Jostas will also be there providing helpful information and placing your graduation order. Now, let's get a public service announcement. Thank you. Yeah. Stay hydrated. There will be a Grand Canyon University presentation on September 22nd during third hour in the lecture hall. You may sign up for the GCU presentation in the guidance department. If you are interested in applying to ASU and need some assistance, there will be an ASU application workshop. The workshop will take place on Tuesday, September 20th, 6 hour during 904. Please sign up in the guidance department. Now let's get your sports update from Victor. Hey Wildcats, I'm Victor here with your sports update. On Friday the 16th, the varsity football team is going, uh, facing off against Sunny Slope High School here at Willow at 7pm. Also tomorrow on Thursday the 15th, the girls varsity, uh, varsity volleyball team is going against the tallest in union here at Willow at 6pm. Also tonight, uh, let's see. Girls golf team will be going against Verado and Westview at Verado High School at 3.30 p.m. Now for some sports news around the state. Uh, on the 18th, uh, Sunday, at 1 p.m., the Cardinals have a game against the against, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the New University of Phoenix Stadium. Also, tomorrow at 6.40 p.m., the Diamondbacks are going up against the Los Angeles Dodgers at Chase Field. Thank you, Victor, for the sports update. Are you interested in participating in the student versus staff volleyball game on September 28th from 6 to 9 p.m.? If so, please sign up before this Friday, September 16th, in the student council room, room 140. The entry fee is $10, and players will receive a free t-shirt. Tomorrow, September 16th, is Constitution Day. Show your America spirit by wearing red, white, and blue during the school day. Then make sure you come back to Willow by 7 p.m. dressed in tie-dye to support our Willow Canyon football team. Now, let's get your weather update from Claudio. That record heat and all of the reasons to stay inside. From Phoenix Parks and Rec, 118 degrees. 40 million people are under a heat warning as temperatures soared above 120 degrees. It's a heat wave that's searing through the west and the southwest. 40 million people are under a heat warning. Here in the state of Arizona, it's the hottest part of the year, with an average high temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It can be dangerous out there, it's important to know how to beat the heat. 
Um, how do I beat the heat? I don't know. I don't really need to beat the heat because I'm used to it, but I'd say just drink water. Make sure it's not hot water because that's bad. I drink a lot of water. <laughs> I bring three water bottles to school every day. The best way to stay safe is to drink plenty of water. Everyone should drink at least two liters per day. Vending machines can be found all over campus, only $1.25 for a bottle. If you're looking for any other refreshments, Fries and Safeway have a wide selection of soft drinks for low prices. You can also get drinks from the stores at gas stations. I swim and douse myself in water. That's how I beat the heat. Most homes in Arizona have a swimming pool. The Surprise Aquatic Center or the Big Surf Water Park in Tempe are also great options. Sometimes the best option is to stay indoors when it's too hot. But if you must be outside, wear lightweight, light-colored clothing. All strenuous activity is best done between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. So, to all students and teachers across campus, please, follow this guide and stay safe out there. Oh, hey Wildcats, didn't see you there. I'm Claudio here with the weather. As you can see, it's, a, it's pretty sunny out right now. Uh, today we're going to have a high of 95 and a low of 66. Isn't that crazy? Um, that's all I have to report for you today. Back to the, the news over there. Thanks for that weather update, Claudio. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in to our first broadcast of the year, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And have a great day, Wildcats.